everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would do a hair tutorial. I have a lot of people that ask me when I curl my hair how I do it, do I use a strainer, do I use a hair curler, so I thought I would just do a video because I was about to do my hair and then I thought you know what I might as well do a video because quite a few people do ask me so that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all what I usually do is I brush my hair, so we are going to do that, oh my god, it's not going to sound great. For those of you that have straight or naturally straight hair, you might not need to do this next step. I like to do it because my hair is super frizzy, so um, I like to straighten my hair before I curl it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm going to be curling my hair with a hair straightener. Oh my god, my hair is a fluffle. So the next thing, like I said, I'm going to straighten my hair, which I'll fast forward and then I will catch up with you in a minute. We are good to go. So now we get into the fun part. So curling. Now whenever I used to curl my hair, I'd always use a wand. Now I use my straightener. One, because I don't have a wand here in the US, but also it's just so much easier. And because I straightened my hair before, it's so much easier to have something that's already warmed up, it's already plugged in. I always just part my hair in the center. I have a center parting, so I guess all to their own. However you have your hair, I just bring all my hair to the front and put it either side. And I'll usually start at the back and make my way forward. But for the purpose of showing you, I'm gonna start at the front so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is I grab a chunk of hair. At the front, I usually grab a larger bit because my hair is thinner and I like a big chunky curl at the front as opposed to like small little ones. I take it like that. You're gonna bring your tongue to the top and as you go down, you're going to turn this down so it's downward and you're going to pull away from you. I'm going to watch this back and be like, Georgia, that made no sense whatsoever. But as you can see, and you can even twist it a little bit, you get a cute little girl. Let's do that again. The smaller amount you take, the tighter the curl. It's just, I guess, whatever your preference is. So you're going to grab it, bring it to the top, Pull down, twist this over so it's hanging down. You can even hold it so the hair doesn't fall out. And you're going to slowly, but not too slowly, because you don't want to burn your hair off like that video. <laughs> Do it like this and then like wrap it around. I think that this is what makes the curls look pretty good. You like wrap it up. And like... And then count 20. Count 20 or longer. Actually. <gasps> You're gonna just bring it forward. Twisty twist. And that one didn't really do anything. Great, let's try that one again. I'm gonna just try one more time. Skylar's playing with a pair of sunglasses by the side of me, so I'm really sorry for the noise. Is that any better? No, it's not too bad. Okay, good. Now, obviously, I'm going to, at the end, pull them out so they're more natural, like, beachy. Next section. Again, I'm going to grab a chunk. Now, usually, towards the back, I usually get smaller chunks, I think. I'm not really sure, actually, if I do. <laughs> Yeah. And then I'm going to grab my straightener, take it to the top, twist and pull. Take it all the way to the bottom. Oh, and a little tip if you want them to look even more like natural and not really like curls, is as you get to the end, leave like an inch or an inch and a half of hair out. Breaks them up a bit, I think. I personally prefer to just curl them and then pull them all out so they're kind of still curled at the end. But some people do prefer that look of straight ends. I'll show you what I mean. 
So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pull it. And then when you get to the end, you're going to leave this out. You see what I mean? So it's a little, like when you curl it, or when you twist it, sorry, it's a little more natural. I don't even know if it is. I don't, I prefer to just curl the end, so I'm just going to curl it. So that is one side done. That took me like, what, a minute? Two minutes, maybe? So now I'm going to do the same on the, the other side. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. That's what I'm trying to say. If you just want curls at the bottom of your hair, you can also just start the curl from, you know, midway through your hair. Or whatever you guys want to do. In the UK, that is like definitely not as humid as it is in the US, so my hair would stay curled without hairspray, without anything. That might be because I've bleached it so much, but it would stay curled all day. Here, in the humidity, like you can see, it's already dropping. Yeah, it doesn't last, so I would usually spray it once I've pulled the hair through. literally it <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that red subscribe button and if you use this tutorial and you finally figured out how to curl your hair with a straightener please dm me pictures my instagram is at underscore life with g i know what they look like i'd love to see them i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one